After disrespecting Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky during his first appearance in Congress, well, Marjorie Taylor Greene released an address to the nation. And you are not going to believe the audacity of this woman. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Marjorie Taylor Greene has some nerve. Not only did she refuse to join her colleagues in applauding President Zelensky yesterday, but now she's released an asinine address to the nation. Here's a solid minute that pretty much just gives you the gist. We weep when we see images of men, women, and children wounded or killed. We regret any human suffering and we mourn any loss of human life. But we cannot and we must not allow our compassion to blind us to reason and common sense. Because this won't be like any entanglement America has ever entered into before. A potential war with Russia is not comparable to Iraq or Afghanistan. This is an eight year long smoldering conflict in which peace agreements have been routinely violated by both sides. It concerns a country in which Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi and Mitt Romney have direct financial interest a country which government only exists because of the Obama State Department helped to overthrow the previous regime. The ugly truth is that America is in no shape to throw herself into another foreign conflict. Yeah, both sides are at fault here, sure. And let's also not forget to include some blame for President Obama and Joe Biden. I'm really surprised that Green didn't also try to tee it up for Hillary some way. And it's also pretty crazy how she's bringing up Pelosi and Romney being wrong for having financial interests in this country when she reportedly brought what, bought what, some $15,000 in defense and energy stocks two days before the war? Perhaps what's really going on here is that Green is a little salty at Mitt Romney for some comments he may have made on CNN. Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar, I don't know them, but I'm reminded of that old line from the Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid movie where, where one character says, morons, I've got morons on my team. And I have to think anybody that would sit down with white nationalists and speak at their conference was certainly missing a few IQ points. Yeah, I think the senator may be right about this one. Not only do we have the D.C. jail, which is the D.C. gulag, but now we have Nancy Pelosi's gazpacho police spying on members of Congress, spying on the legislative work that we do, spying on our staff, and spying on American citizens that want to come talk to their representatives. Yes, she said gazpacho. You let me know your thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.